Okay, so let me start again my presentation. Okay, so good afternoon. No? In this afternoon, our Lady of the Rural Maternity and General Hospital, no? together with uh, the Department of Health Region 7, would like to celebrate, no? join in the celebration in our World Patient Safety Day. So thank you for coming, our participants now coming from our hospital, from the nursing service department, from the radiology department, laboratory department. Uh, thank you for joining with us uh, this afternoon. And for our guest participants coming from Southwestern University, FINMA, now College of Nursing, second year students, now taking up the course enrolled in this semester, maternal and child nursing related learning experience. Now welcome future nurses, okay? They are our future. They are our country's future because we need more nurses, most especially in this pandemic. No, we need more uh, profesh professional healthcare professionals, no? Uh, amidst the struggles in this pandemic. So let me start my presentation. Okay, yeah, this is the banner that they are using. Okay, safe motherhood. No? A woman's ability to have a safe and healthy pregnancy and delivery. No mothers or expectant parents. They're very excited to see that they can that the mother can safely deliver no? their baby. Safety, no? under the care of a certified gynecologist together with our pediatricians, nurses, and health allied professionals. No, we need safe delivery. A mother no, who is expecting a safe delivery no, is giving their whole trust to the hospital or to the lying in that will provide safe delivery for their baby. So maternal mortality, no? key facts. Every day, approximately 830 women die from preventable causes related to pregnancy and childbirth, according to World Health Organization. Can you imagine 330 women die no, with these preventable causes related to pregnancy and childbirth? No, That's a big number. Maternal mortality is higher in women living in the rural areas and among poorer communities, according to WHO. Yes, it's true. No? Because... No, the accessibility of the healthcare privileges no, is out of hands. Some of the services are not given. Some of the services, which includes prenatal checkups for our uh, pregnant mothers, no? minsan hindi na ibibigay. Minsan delayed yung mga services. No? Sometimes... We don't have doctors, no? The right doctors is going to take good care no, of their prenatals. Young adolescents face a higher risk of complications and death as a result of pregnancy than other women. No? That's according to WHO. No? Because of teenage pregnancies no young adolescents 
face a higher risk of complications and even deaths. Because of what? No? Because of peers. No? What they see in social media. No? It's very accessible. So they have that pregnancies, no? unplanned pregnancies. So there's a higher risk for them to die or go into complications because they tend to hide to their parents that they're pregnant. They're trying to think of things. Now, like for example, abortion because they're afraid that their parents will get mad with them because they're pregnant with someone or to whom. Huh? Because they're young adolescents. They still need guidance, but it's out of control and it happens. Now, between 2016 and 2030, as part of the Sustainable Development Goals, the target is to reduce the global maternal mortality ratio to less than 70 per 100,000 live births. Okay, that is the Sustainable Development Goals being targeted no, by the WHO. So what are the pillars of safe motherhood? Okay, safe motherhood. First pillar. No? When we say pillar, okay, yung Tagalog ng pillar, ano, haligi. No? These are the foundations that keeps us no, being protected no, from any what threats, problem. Okay. Number one pillar, family planning. Okay. This is very important. Natural family planning, artificial methods of uh, family planning. No? We need um, education about family planning. Now, we need to talk about family planning if the patient or the family we are taking care of, no? Ikalimang beses na baby na niya, ikaanim na, no? We need to talk about family planning. Sige na. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that is very important. It's very important, family planning. We need to introduce family planning. No, we need to assess if the couple accepts, if the couple knows what is family planning. No, we need to introduce artificial family planning, natural family planning, if they are no, religious. No, we have choices. No? So I hope you don't forget about uh, lactating amenorrhea method, no? basal body temperature checks, no? our calendar methods, no? the beads. I hope you don't forget that those are natural family planning methods that we can also introduce if they are religiously inclined. No? But if a couple is very open to artificial methods, no, the depot, intra, uh, uterine devices, the IUD, no, the hormonal pills, so we can introduce them. No, the barrier methods, what are the barrier methods? No, we will teach them how to use the uh, how to use proper way of uh, condom, no male condoms, female condoms, no. There are many choices. If they want a permanent, no, they can use vasectomy, no. They can use the tubal ligation if they want. So we need nurses, no, and future nurses. We need to discuss. We need to know. We need to refresh, no in order to disseminate information, no? correct information about family planning to our clients. Because we don't know 
no along our duties no during our hospital rounds or when we give medications to our patients someone will call us someone will ask us about family planning and we cannot answer them no it's very bad to hear that we nurses don't know how to educate family planning and that is the basic that is one of the pillars of safe motherhood next is antenatal care what is antenatal care no from the word anti no we need to be what they need to undergo prenatal checkups no you need to stress out the importance of prenatal checkups no so that no the pregnancy will be properly monitored by a gynecologist no by a midwife by a nurse or experience in uh, mother and child nursing care. No? Next is obstetric care. No? OB care. So we need also to teach them. We need to emphasize no? what will happen if a, if a woman gets pregnant. What are the... Um, physical manifestations no physical changes that a pregnant woman no, will experience no morning sickness no how they can manage morning sickness no if the if she don't know that she is pregnant no what is pregnancy test what is human chorionic gonadotrophin means no the midwife will give you a prescription coming from a doctor. Okay, have a pregnancy test, have an HCG test, and no, the pregnant mother don't know what is a pregnancy test. How can we educate them if we don't know? How can we provide safe motherhood if we healthcare professionals doesn't know the basic teaching no, of safe motherhood? Okay, postnatal care, no, after the delivery. How can we provide safe motherhood during the postnatal care? No, after ba ng panganak? No, iiwan lang yung ano, bagong panganak na ina. Okay, are we not introducing the unang yakap? Are we not checking the uterus? No, are we not checking the, the vagina if there is vaginal packing? Or if the doctor uh, um, performs no episiotomy and under no episiography, no are you not checking if the mother is bleeding? No. We need to educate no postnatal mothers also, so that if we nurses are not there, they know how to manage before it's too late okay we need to tell them ma'am inform us no if how many napkins no you use during the first four hours after your postnatal inform us if you have a heavy bleeding now we can differentiate what is lucia rubra no i hope everybody knows what is lucia rubra lucia serosa Lucia Alba. No, we need to understand the physiologic no? um, yes, hello. Okay. No? So what can we do? What can we impart in order to provide safe motherhood? No? Knowledge is power, no, they say. Okay, post-abortion care. No? Some countries, no? they are providing post-abortion care also. Even in our country, no? we're doing that. It's so-called therapeutic abortion. There's a reason why we need to terminate no? the pregnancy of that mother. No? Is it related to health conditions? Of the present conditions of the mother. No? Maybe it's giving high risk.
to a to the pregnant mother if she will continue her pregnancy. Okay? That is between life and death situation. So we're doing post-abortion. Or by accident, no? the baby is being aborted because of accident. So we need also to provide care for that. No? Not only physical, emotional. No? Emotional care. We need to provide emotional understanding to the post-aborted mother. No? Because they can also undergo no? psychological blues. No? They will be upset because of the incident. No? They're expecting to have a new baby or they're expecting to have their first baby as a couple. And then suddenly, a tragedy happens. And it comes a time that the couple will decide which, no, or usually the father, no, yung tatanungin ng doktor, sino yung bubuhayin natin? No? Si wife mo o yung baby mo? No? We're not only talking to mother here. No? We're talking to a couple. No? A wife and a husband. So we nurses should be compassionate enough. We nurses should be understanding to the needs of the expectant parents. No? And the last, and not the least, very important. No? The things that we need to deal. Sexually transmitted infections. One of the what? Teratogenic infections. Bacterial teratogenic infections. No, mechanical, chemical teratogens that would cause what? Congenital anomalies, mental retardation, cliff palette, cliff lip. No? To a newborn child. No? Human immunodeficiency virus, AIDS. That's why during the prenatal, no? prenatal days of a mother, we need to include in our assessment if there is a sexually transmitted infection. Now we need to check the mother. We need to get the consent of the couple and the, or the mother itself. No, so that we can do a HIV AIDS testing, hepatitis B testing. Now for us also to be safe, healthcare workers. Now when the time will come, no, yung expected date of delivery niya. All of that pillars under the roof of safe motherhood. Okay? There is a floor that is also important in these five pillars. No? Communication for behavior change. We need to communicate to the couple, to the mother, to our community. Okay? We are not providing safe motherhood only inside the hospital, but we are providing safe motherhood to our community. Uh, as healthcare professionals, as healthcare nurses, let us not forget that we are the bearers of health education in our community. That is one of our responsibility to educate the public. No? Hindi lang sa loob ng hospital, sa loob ng clinic, but we need also to educate the public because this is for all safety. No? We need to assess primary health care in a certain community, in a certain hospital. Are they providing no, delivery package, no, prenatal packages, no, cesarean packages? Is it covered no, in that certain hospital? Covered by yan ng PhilHealth? We need also to help the couple no, during the prenatal. The cost. No, we need to um, what's this? Appraise them no, regarding the cost, whatever the possibilities that may happen so that for nine months period, the couple can save financially. 
or emotionally. Okay? Equity for women. Okay. <clears throat> no? Equality. Okay? We need to provide equality for our women. That is the right. No? Meron tayong mga ina. No? We're being born in this world because of our mother. So we need to give them equal rights to provide safe motherhood. No? It doesn't mean matanda na si mama. No? She doesn't need any more. No? Hey, regarding uh, gynecological no, check-ups, follow-ups. Because there are some problems no, of a woman they can experience also along the way. We have myomas. No? We have cervical cancers. No? There's a lot more we need to learn in order to provide safe motherhood in our community. So family planning, okay? Plan and space your children at least three years apart for our healthier family. Okay, I get this reference from the WHO, World Health Organization, and from the Department of Health Region 1. No, my students uh, under public health administration, they provided me with the information also so that I can also disseminate the programs no, of the Department of Health. No? They said, plan and space your children at least three years apart for a healthier family. Okay? Antenatal care. No? Have at least four prenatal care in any facility. Okay? Uh, your, your barangay health center, rural health unit, no RHU. Now they have services, gynecological services for a pregnant mother. Okay? Wait, let me get my water. Develop a birth plan. Huh? We need to develop a birth plan. No? That is, now it will take place in the prenatal, no? in antenatal care. Now we need to appraise the expectant mother on the possibilities from the positive side going to the negative side in order a mother and a couple you now will be prepared you know, for whatever it takes you know, from positive to negative scenarios that might happen during the pregnancy of a woman. So obstetric care, you know, give birth in any health facility for prompt management of complications during labor and delivery. Now, when the child will be born, we need to, what? Ilapag natin sa chan ng mama. The baby will crawl. Anong tawag dyan? We are providing unang yakap. No? Because there is a great psychological impact no? in that manner. Uh, the, the Department of Health uh, and the World Health Organization is promoting unang yakap. No? That's the part. Paglabas ni baby. Okay, anong gagawin natin? No? Ilagay natin si baby sa chani mother. Okay? And then we let the baby crawl by itself going to the breast of the mother smelling no the tangent smell of a mother no that will provide them good bonding in the future now there is a psychological impact for that and there is a scientific explanation for that okay um, I would like to please 
Mute your mic, please. Okay. Okay, you are attending a webinar. Please bear in mind not to keep your microphones on mute if you are not the speaker or the question and answer portion is not open yet. Okay, thank you. Okay, so postnatal care. Hmm? Postnatal care, pagkasilang ng bata. Now have at least two postpartum care from a midwife, a nurse, or a doctor for early detection and prevention of possible complications. Okay, it doesn't mean that the baby is delivered healthy. We don't need to go back for follow-up checkups. Okay, at least two postpartum care. No, two, two follow-up care from a uh, ob gynae doctor, no, or midwife, or a nurse in order to assess. Now, most especially, now when you go check up from a clinic or hospital, now that your doctor will ask a complete blood count in order for her to assess. Now, your blood counts are on normal range. Now, you are not experiencing anemia or the baby is not experiencing jaundice. Now, the midwife or the nurse will check. No, if any problems from the baby, no, because right, no, like 24 hours, no, 24 hours to 48 hours, we need to do that um, expanded newborn, no, newborn screening and hearing test also. No, it is also a part, no, in providing, no, newborn care, no, for our neonates. Okay, not only the mother. Okay. So post-abortion care. No? Like for example, the abortion happens no? from a place away from a health facility or in your um, house. No? Go to health facilities for management and counseling. Okay. The ob will assess you. No. The Obigani will check if there are some uh, remnants, no, aborted remnants left inside the womb that might cause danger. No. So next is sexually transmitted diseases, no, HIV control. That is very important no, nowadays because uh, it is very rampant in our community. Most especially, uh, we are in the city. No, some of the unplanned pregnancies. No, so we can encounter. So some. that. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. mm. No, protect mothers and children from any illnesses. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. So, um, so many. So Hello, Mom Julian. If you are not listening, please turn off your mic. Okay, let's go now to the most hot topic now in this pandemic. I need to include this because this is very important. No? It's very important that you will know what are the proper no, health education that you can give to a pregnant mother. Okay, COVID-19 vaccination in pregnant and lactating women. Okay. So COVID-19 vaccination is recommended to all pregnant and lactating mothers. Now, safe in the first trimester of pregnancy, provided that the mother now, is being granted by the gynecologist, being checked. Now, so she can avail this COVID-19 vaccination, now, even in the first trimester. Okay? What's, what's in the first trimester? How many months every trimester? Huh? Three months. No? 
we consider that as a trimester. No adverse maternal or fetal effects. Okay? Sabihin nyo sa mga buntis, no, there is no maternal adverse effects or fetal adverse effects. Okay? No pregnancy test required. So meaning it is safe. It's not dangerous, no? Uh, this is a uh, vaccine no? being studied and then they said that no, it, uh, it is safe for pregnant women. No? So the approved COVID-19 vaccines Pfizer, Moderna, Sinovac, AstraZeneca, J&J, &J, and Gamaleya. Okay? That's coming from DOH. So on breastfeeding and pregnancy, okay, what is the first milk that will uh, be taken or that will release? No, from a lactating mother? Huh? Anyone? Breastfeeding, sir. Huh? Ano yung unang gatas na lalabas sa ina? Anong tawag doon? Which provides um, good immunity, presence of immunoglobulins that will protect the baby from infection? Huh? Because we are promoting also breastfeeding, no? We need to inform the parents the importance of breastfeeding. Now, after the delivery of the baby, what's that milk na ilalabas sa a breast ni mother? It's a yellowish color. Colostrum huh? daw, sir. Okay, it is colostrum, not daw. No? Walang daw. It's really colostrum. No, it contains all the herd immunity coming from the mother. Okay, it contains the memory lipids no, of a mother. That's why it will provide no, a good protection from our, from our babies. No, it contains probiotics, no, vitamins and minerals, and immunoglobulins. That is very important nowadays. No? Breastfeeding is very important than the uh, formula milk that are available now in the pharmacy, in the market. No? So questions regarding breastfeeding and pregnancy. Okay. Bakit mahalaga ang paghawak at paghaplos ng bagong silang na sanggol? Anyone can answer me? Ha? Huh? Why is it important no? that we need to hold or we need to uh, caress the newborn baby? That to feel the baby secure, sir. Okay. So, para ma-feel ni baby na secure siya no? in the presence of her mother. So, what yes, other sir. psychological aspects? No, nurses, what's that bonding? No? No, it's a great time for bonding. No? When you do when the mother do breastfeeding, you're holding your baby. So meaning the baby can smell you. No? No? The baby will feel safe, comfortable. No? Na she or he is with her mother. Okay? Thank you, Miss Nori, for answering my question. Sure lang, Miss Yes, sir. <laughs> Ang paghawak at paghaplo sa sanggol ay importante upang maipadama ang pagkalinga at pagmamahal ng isang ina sa kanya. No? The love, the comfort, the security. Okay? Those are the psychological aspects. Ano? Ang paglalapat ng isang bagong silang na sanggol sa dibdib ng kanyang ina o unang yakap ay mahalaga upang masimulan 
ang maagang pagpapasuso. Okay? Kahalintula dito sa kangaroo mother. No? Kangaroo mother care. No? KMC. Para sa mga sanggol na ipinanganak ng kulang sa buwan or preterm o timbang or low birth weight. Another question. Maari bang hawakan at haggan ng isang ina may COVID-19 ang kanyang bagong silang na anak? Anyone from our guests? Anyone from my nurses who can answer? I want my nurses to answer this question. Huh? I want to assess if my nurses are reading. No? Not only watching TikTok and Netflix but also reading general public information for us also to disseminate the information that being made by the Department of Health. Uh, Ms. Charisse Tolentino, Ms. Mary Joy Montero, maaari bang hawakan at hagka ng isang inang may COVID-19 ng kanyang bagong silang na anak? Ms. Marites Ladao? Hmm, okay. Okay, the answer is, oo, maaring hawakan at hagkan ang sanggol basta't nakamas, naka-face mask at nag-iingat ang ina. Kailangan din na nakamas no, ang ina habang nagpapasuso at sa tuwing kasama ang sanggol. Okay, let us not forget the pathophysiology of COVID-19. Okay? The COVID-19 virus has its spikes. Okay? Meron siyang spikes, di ba? Kaya tinawag siyang corona. Na? All coronaviruses have the corona, the spike proteins. Okay? These, spikes pro these spike proteins bind to the ACE inhibitors in the throat, which is found mostly in the throat. That's why the portal entry, no? the portal of entry of the covid No, goes through your mouth no, or to your throat when you inhale the virus going through your throat. And dyan sa throat natin or sa respiratory system, nandyan present si what? Angiotensin converting enzymes. Okay? Dyan didikit yung spikes ng COVID-19 so that they can what? They can regenerate. No, they can grow, they can attack your body, no, they can turn down your immune system no, within five days. No, you will not die because of the COVID-19 virus. No, you will die due to the what? Opportunistic infections that might come because your immune system is what? Broken down. No? Mababa na yung immune system mo. So, What are those opportunistic infections? No? Bacterial, fungal. No? So magkakaroon ka ng what? Severe pneumonia due to bacterial infection. That's why the doctors are also prescribing antibiotics together with the antiviral remdesivir. No? So bagong silang. Okay? Bagong silang ang bata. So hindi pa well developed ang kanilang mga ACE enzymes, no? Yung mga ACE enzymes nila is hindi pa well developed. Kaya hindi masyadong maraming cases yung mga bata, no? Konti lang sa kanila ang nagkaka COVID-19. Pero there are some cases, but not commonly sa mga bagong silang. Okay? So pwede ha, pwede. No? Mother can hold, no, with the COVID-19 infection, uh, just maintaining the minimum health protocols, wearing of masks or face shields, no? Clean the site still. Mm. Tandaan. Okay? O galing maghugas ng kamay. Gamit ang sabon at tubig bago at pagkatapos hawakan at pasusuhin si baby. Okay, no? Hand washing. 
no? It's uh, it is much preferred to do hand washing, no? But if you are outside and there is no accessibility of water, so pwede kayo mag-alcohol, no? Mag-hand hygiene. Alcohol, hand rub, no? Panatal, panatilihing malinis ang kapaligiran ng ina at ng sanggol. Yes, we need to keep our environment clean. Okay? Iwasang halikan ang sanggol. Okay, you can carry, you can do breastfeeding, but iwasang halikan ang sanggol. Para sa mga ina na hindi kayang magpasuso, Dahil sa malubhang karamdaman at kung saan ay kinakailangang ihiwalay ang sanggol, maaari siyang mag-express ng kanyang breast milk sa malinis na lalagyan. Okay? So based on my experience, when I was in Saudi Arabia, if a mother does not uh, make milk, no enough milk for her baby, no pwedeng mag-share yung ibang mother no sa kanyang baby. No, we can ask permission from uh, our patient. Uh, can we uh, have uh, a part of your milk? No, we need to ask permission because the mother needs to meet the mother of the baby because in their religion, in their culture, if the baby drinks the milk of another mother, so they are considered as brother or sister. Okay, hindi na sila pwedeng makasal. Okay? They need to talk to each other, their family line, no, their family tree because they're not allowed to marry each other. Okay? Kasi turing na nila is magkapatid. No? In different countries, no, we need to include culture. We nurses should be resilient to different culture, ethics, values no so that we can deliver our care properly and safely no safe from the patient and safe from the healthcare professional okay so para sa mga ina na hindi kayang magpasuso dahil sa malubhang karamdaman at kung saan ay kinakailangang ihiwalay ang sanggol maaari siyang mag-express ng kanyang breast milk sa malinis na lalagyan Okay? Ma'am Tess, anong tawag dyan? Ha? Yung pinapump, no? Expression of milk, no? And then we need to put it in the fridge, no? Para hindi masira and after we need to throw it para hindi naman masyadong malamig before, no? Inumin ni baby. Ang na-express na gatas ay pwedeng ipainom sa sanggol gamit ang malinis na lalagyan tulad ng isang feeding cup. Okay. So another question. Uh, this one, no? Malapit na ang aking kabuanan. Saan ako pwedeng manganak ng ligtas ngayon? Laganap ang COVID-19 sa mga hospital. Diba? These are the what? These are the dilemmas of the expectant mother. Okay. Amidst in this pandemic, they have the dilemmas. Saan ba ko pwedeng manganak? No? Saan ba ko pwedeng magpa-prenatal? They're afraid. No, we are afraid. Okay? So, answer, no? Kung regular ang inyong prenatal visit at walang komplikasyon, ang inyong pagbubuntis at nais ninyong uh, makapamili ng ligtas na paanakan sa pan Uh, panahong may banta ng COVID-19, isang guni ninyo ang inyong nais na tamang payo kung ano ang pinakamainam na birthing facility para sa inyong panganganak. No? I think no, from last year up to now, the hospitals are adapting no, to the new normal. No, bago pumasok si mother, no, the hospitals being separated from clean area to a COVID area. na and meron na tayong mga accessible RT-PCRs or antigen so that we can separate the mother and to provide no, the gynecological services that they need.
Okay? Dalhin ang lahat ng resulta ng inyong mga ipinagawang laboratory test, prenatal record at, babe, at birth plan at kumonsulta sa doktor, midwife o nurse ng paanakan na inyong napili upang mapaghandaang maigi ang inyong panganganak. Okay? So, maaaring manganak sa ibang mga health facilities na lisensyado ng Department of Health at accredited ng PhilHealth. Birthing facility ng health center or municipal or rural health units. Mga pribadong lying-in clinics na mayroong midwife, nurse at doktor. Mga infirmary hospitals. Ha? Paalala? Kung kayo ay pinanghihinala ang may COVID-19 o kompermadong mayroon nito, lubos na ipinapayo ng ipagbigay alam sa inyo ng health worker ang kalagayan at tamang informasyon uko sa inyong kalusuga. Ito ay upang lubos na maibigay ang tamang serbisyo para inyo at sa inyong ipapanganak na sanggol. Okay, if uh, the expectant mother is having a COVID symptoms or uh, what's this, the influenza-like no? influenza -like symptoms, so we need to uh, do our RT-PCR or the anti-gene no? for our safety and for the mother's safety also. Okay, mas ligtas mga anak sa health, no? health facilities. Delikado ang panganak, panganganak sa bahay. No? No, usually, when you are living in a village, no, in a province, in your province, no, na it's very far from the uh, barangay health center or any lying ins, no, they decided to uh, have, no, to have their labor, no, sa kanilang bahay. Like if we cannot control it. Some really would deliver their baby at home. So at least after that, no, we need to encourage them to go to a nearest hospital or to a nearest birthing clinic lying in or in their barangay health units so that the mother and the baby no, will be assessed and the initial prophylaxis will be given, no, the antibiotics, the vaccines, now, vitamin K, Hep B, no, the gentamicin for the babies. The mother will be assessed if the placenta is well delivered or is it already delivered or not yet, no? Para ma assess, no? Because sometimes we don't know that the placenta will retain, no, in the uterus of the mother and it can cause danger, no? Madalas yung ano, yung bleeding sa bahay. No? Because we need to give oxytocin to keep the uterus no? contracting well to prevent bleeding. Pero kasi nanganak sa bahay, so right after na nalaman, no? nalaman mo, kapitbahay kayo, midwife ka, nurse ka, no? advice no? na to seek consultation, treatment or care to the nearest hospital. Hmm? Another question. Maari bang may pasa na isang buntis na may COVID-19 ang virus sa kanyang baby? Hmm? What are your possible answers to this question? Yes, sir. Okay, let's uh, see the answer. Sa ngayon, wala pang matibay na ebidensya na ipapasa ang virus sa sinapupunan. Okay, there is no specific study yet. Not like the what? Ano? Anong sakit na pwedeng may pasa? Viral infection na pwedeng may pasa. Uh, HIV. Okay? AIDS. Hmm. Okay, ugaliin ang mga sumusunod upang makaiwas sa COVID-19. Number one, in any different kinds of examination, number one, no? You can choose the number one and the safest answer. Ugaling maghugas ng kamay gamit ang sabon at tubig. 
bago at pagkatapos hawakan at pasusuhin si baby. Okay, magpanatili ng isang metrong layo sa bawat nagpapakita ng symptoms ng COVID-19. So social distancing still because there are some asymptomatics. No, you are asymptomatic because you are vaccinated and when you go near through a high risk individual, no, pwede siyang mahawa, pwede siyang maging symptomatic. Okay? So pag iwas sa mga matataong lugar, no? So we need to stay away. If you are pregnant, no? If you are uh, postnatal, you need you still need to uh, maintain that uh, social distancing, no? Avoid crowded places because we don't know, no? You are still adapting to the changes, you are lactating. No, we don't know that you are experiencing stress and which can increase your stress hormone, your cortisol level. So, bababa yung immunity mo. Diba? Ipagpatuloy ang regular na prenatal check-up sa health center, rural health unit, hospital, o iba pang mga birthing facility hanggang sa kabuanan ng kapakanakan ipagpatuloy ang pag-inom ng iron folic acid supplements. Okay? So nurses, what is the indication for giving our pregnant mother na, or postnatal? Na, we, why we need to give iron or folic acid supplements? Ha? Huh? Oh, mingaw man ako mga nurses. No. Mm. Not to in order to prevent the development of what? No. Ha? Huh? What neural tube defects, no? Mga defects. No. So we need really to refresh our knowledge on this. No. Kumain ng masustansyang pagkain at panatilihin ang kalinisan ng katawan at kalusugan. No? Thank you. No, thank you for attending this webinar in this afternoon. No, I hope you have learned something no, in this webinar. No? To the future nurses, to my registered nurses, to other uh, department here in our hospital. No? You can ask questions now. Any questions no, regarding uh, patient safety? No, still we need to follow the principles of patient safety. No, we need to what? When the patient come, we need to identify the patient. Okay, we need to put ID band to the patient. Uh, we need to ask the name of the patient if we are giving medications. No, if she or he is not oriented, okay? We need to what? Okay? Ask the relatives, no? We need to check the ID band. If no, there are three identifiers, no? We need to ask the name, no? If he knows where he is, so in order to assess the orientation of the patient, no? If the patient is disoriented, no, if the mother is experiencing what? What is that that it can cause um, mental hallucination, confusion, delirium? No, if the patient is what? Having eclampsia. No, eclampsia. No, always remember no, the sudden increase in the blood pressure. No, when the mother is uh, going to labor. No, nag-shoot up yung blood pressure niya. And later on, the mother is experiencing what? No? Eclampsia already. No? So we need to provide safety for that. No? So, okay. No questions? Okay, thank you no, for coming. Uh, can you open your camera for our picture? <laughs> no? so that na no, I can see our what's this uh, beautiful guests and uh, nurses also for our documentation 
no? So that I can know who is listening or not, who is present, no? Or just joining the webinar, and uh, no, that's the problem of a webinar or any online activities. Now we don't know, so we need to assess, no? So uh, once again, uh, thank you for coming, for listening with us, no? Uh, Southwestern University College of Nursing, no? Second year nursing students. No, I hope and pray that every uh, soon time will come that uh, you will come to our hospital. No, you go on duty. No, partnership with our hospital. No, no, God willing. No, marami ng mga anak ulit. No, and then no, this pandemic will be controlled na. Hmm? I hope you learned something so that I cannot give you a post-test exam by night time about maternal care, safety. No? Hmm. Okay. Mag-screenshot ta. Para makita inyo mga kagwapa. Okay. Hmm. Ano, sakilin ko para makita ang logo. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Once again, thank you, Nori, Mr. Cabanes, not to all my students and my nurses, you, and to all the staff na in our hospital. Okay. Thank Once again, you, good afternoon and have a safe day. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. I love you, my Ellen. <laughs>